This is all good automation. I'm back in the shop and I'm revisiting my uh, HHO uh, energy measuring device which is nothing more than a, a two inch cylinder that has a uh, 11 inch stroke. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got an 11 inch stroke and uh, I was going to put this hook this computer up to it uh, with a, uh, a DAC card which would have been connected here but I've since then figured out that uh, I really don't need to know how fast the uh, cylinder moves is all I need to know is how far it moved uh, to do my calculations that I wanted to figure out the amount of energy in the gas and so what I've done here is uh, added a, a metal bar to the, the weights and then a device that will um, show me how far the cylinder moves up. As you can see here, I'm going to demonstrate uh, when the cylinder goes up, if I get underneath it here, it pushes it up and then the slide stays where it ends up. So basically what it's going to do is when the cylinder uh, uh, the explosion occurs in within the cylinder the cylinder will move up and leave this uh, slide bar where it uh, hits the peak of its uh, travel that'll tell me how far the this the uh, weight was moved up against gravity this is uh, all, all what it'll do is it'll give me the number of uh, foot pounds uh, of uh, energy that it was used to lift the cylinder. Uh, if I move six inches for instance that would be half of a foot and I have a, a, a two 20 pound weights here plus the weight of the rod in the cylinder and plus the this bar and the magnets and then also the weight of this slide bar and I'm going to neglect any friction that's there and just not count it but uh, It'll give me a close enough approximation to, to see how much energy is uh, being released in the gas when it explodes in the cylinder. Uh, so uh, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to now uh, show you how I'm going to accomplish this. Uh, first off, let's go back to my uh, uh, HHO uh, electrolysis cell here. I'm producing the gas with a uh, closed cell here and uh, this is my HHometer here and uh, as you can see I've got these calibrated in 125 milliliter increments on this HHometer. Uh, I'm going to turn my cell on here and produce some gas to put in the, the cylinder over there. I turn on the pump and uh, I'm going to turn on my meters here. Okay. Uh, right now I have a seven tenths of a volt and uh, uh, well a hundredth of a well, zero current here. So uh, what I'm going to do is turn it on, and you can see that I'm pulling around 30 amps at 12 volts approximately uh, to produce the gas. So uh, when this bubbles over here, I'll have a full liter of, of gas to deal with. Okay, there's my liter. I'll turn that off. Turn off the pump. Now, uh, I have a, a valve here that uh, I can open up and move the... Here's the... Here's the hose right here that uh, comes from the hometer, and it's it's shut off here. And I'm going to connect that up to the uh, the cylinder here. Okay, and then I'm going to open this valve. Okay, so we. Uh, well, I, I think what I want to do is clear this uh, line out of any uh, uh, unknown gases here. So I'm going to 
allowing the hometer to, to bleed out to about 750 milliliters. There you go, there's 750 milliliters and, uh, of gas in the hometer. Uh, I'm going to hook it back up here now. Okay. I got that connected and I'm to verify I still have 750 milliliters here of, the, of gas in the cylinder in the hometer. Now what I'm going to do is uh, lift this uh, weight and uh, and suck the uh, HHO out of the hometer and uh, I'll do that by lifting this Okay, you can you can see over there that the the gas is rising or falling depending on the the position I hold this uh, cylinder here. So I've got to put the camera down for just a second while I close the valve. And we have two hands. Okay. And as you can see, I've marked on the wood here uh, the position of the uh, of the cylinder. And I'll push this uh, marker down against the against the uh, angle iron here, so that when the cylinder goes up, it'll push it up. Next thing I'm going to do is close this valve so I don't. Uh, to get the hydrogen in the shop. Disconnect this. I don't get an ignition back to the bubbler and the uh, hydrometer. <coughs> and now we're ready to go. So here we go. Uh, this uh, igniter I've got sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't work so I may have to press it a number of times to get it to ignite but here we go. There you saw it. Okay, now the question is, how far did the weight go up? Well, there's my mark. And we've got oh, approximately nine and uh, a half inches of travel here. Uh, and just so to show you, we've got uh, mark about 625 milliliters which is the 125 milliliters I pulled into the cylinder. Um, so, we, with 125 milliliters of gas, we uh, actually uh, uh, lifted 25 pounds at nine and a half inches. And there it is. It's actually yep about nine and a half inches. All right, you saw it on all get automation here. I haven't done the numbers on this. Uh, I'll uh, include the uh, numbers in the video as I calculate them. Anyway, you saw it here on all get automation.